uh, like we, like I talked about in the previous vid video, that I would show you this running so that you can see the motors run. So I'm going to launch the uh, Linux CNC controller here. Now let's maximize this so maybe you can see it. We'll hit the E stop and power. And then here we can um, manipulate the uh, motors. So if we look over here, you'll see that I brought uh, the controllers out. And I've labeled the controller, so I just know which one they are. This is Z. This is the Y right joint motor, Y left motor, and X. They come over here, and they come out of here. And uh, the reason why they're kind of in a funky order there was I actually wanted them from right to left coming out just because, you know, I might want an A here or something else. <clears throat> kind of keeps them all grouped together, or at least that's what I think. So here you see that uh, my son, Zach, has taped... Um, identifier on the motor. So there's, here's X, Y right, Y left, and Z. Over here on the controller, um, I'll turn up the jog speed up to high, okay, or at least up anyway, and then we'll jog it. So uh, X is selected, um, uh, plus should jog in the uh, forward direction. So I'm gonna hit that, and I'll uh, we'll turn this up here so you can see that motor. So you see that spinning there forward direction, reverse direction, okay? If we select Y over here and we look at both of these, you can see, because I still have the couplers on them from the old CNC, you'll see both of them turn at the same time. Uh, and uh, uh, Michael Simpson, uh, the guy who wrote the book, uh, says in Mach 3, this is kind of slaved together, but uh, basically we, we're just saying, hey, we have two joints. We want, to, want them to receive the same signal. And, of course, if we select Z, we have the same thing here. So there's a, a, a kind of give you an idea. Now, here's a, something I do want to show you. If uh, if this is spinning, we're, we're spinning forward. That should bring the nut up. If we look over here, as we go forward, it should bring the carriage up. And if we go negative, it should bring the carriage for the Z axis down. So, um, so plus would bring it up, minus bring it down. So let's look at this motor here. So I'm hitting the plus button, and we see that we're spinning this direction, okay? And if we're spinning this direction, imagine that, it's, that there's a screw there, and um, if we're spinning that direction, you'll see that the if it's a right-handed screw that the nut will move toward the motor, which is exactly what we want, okay? Now, <clears throat> if for some reason that it wasn't spinning the right to the correct direction and we needed to change the direction of the motor because it's important to think about the direction before we actually hook them to the machine, especially the y-axis because we don't want one going one way and one motor going the other way because we would rack the uh, gantry. So in the event that we had to change one, we would just come back over here and I mentioned uh, in, the, in the last video that um, when you run the step comp uh, wizard software, that you can select an existing um, configuration. So I'll hit start. And here I want to modify an existing configuration. Hit forward. And then this is the KRM step comp. That's what I want. It should take right where it's located by default. Open. And then we can go forward. And we'll just do that. Well, let's, uh, we'll, in the Z, we'll uh, tick the direction and invert that. So when we, sp when we spin it, we'll notice that when we go, um, when, it's, when we click right, it should go in the uh, opposite direction. So we'll go forward. We'll just forward through all of this. And done. <clears throat> and we'll save this. We'll launch KRM again. Bring it up here so we can see it. Turn off the e-stop. Turn on the power. We were doing Z. So now let's look at the motor. I'm going to hit plus again. And we'll see that now... Well, let me, uh, I'm going to turn the jog up so it spins faster. Now when we hit plus, you see it's now going counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So that's uh, how you got to do if you got to switch it. If you have any questions or anything, uh, uh, please email me. You can click the... Uh, contact us link at the top um, and, and to email me or you can uh, go to the forums at uh, linuxcnc.org so 
Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I appreciate it. So if you got any questions, um, just ask. Bye.